Hey you. It's uh three one eight four. The other one's three one eight one six. What's going on, Kevin? How are you? I haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, I've been around. You been around town? Or you going other places? We've been match. Yeah. Yeah. Busier over there, I assume. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> They're in plain clothes. Are they? Oh yeah, all the ones I get. Look at you with the leather. Cold out here, man. The one right in front of you is Kevin Baca. One of these, JP. What's that? You get yourself one of these. Nice leather comb. First time I saw one of those, it was on uh, Mo uh, Josh English a couple years ago. Yeah, he, he loves his. Maybe you guys were like fair weather guys, and we're here with warm out. Yeah, oh, it's not snowing in 10 well, degrees. Well, you know though. me better than that. <laughs> so, the guys at Manchester are out in plain clothes doing what? They're called the Ghost Unit. Yeah. There's a bunch of them, and uh. You like the white man? Yeah, they um. They're not, they're not very nice. Oh. <laughs> they're an anti gang unit. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so they're not doing this, they're out doing gang stuff. Well. They, they have a demographic, profile demographic. 18, 25, young black, Hispanic males. That's usually all I see them pull over. Oh, they're out stopping yeah. cars and stuff? Oh, yeah. Their they, they specific job is to go out and profile traffic. Oh, really? Yeah. It's another world over there. They do they do things that we don't do here, so I don't know. Yeah, I heard you've been doing some training. You've been gone? You were gone for a while? Uh, I was gone over the summer. I did three weeks. Last time I saw you up on some roof looking for a dog. Yeah, we found it. it <laughs> yeah, it was a big, huge, like, uh, you seen the movie The Sandlot? Yeah. You know, that kind of dog? It was one of those. Oh, really? And it crawled out a window that overlooks the roof. Oh, no and shit. And it was hanging out, yeah. It was right on Washington yeah. Street. Yeah, so we fed some hot dogs <laughs> that liked us when we threw it back in the window. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was a cool dog. Uh, yeah, I was gone for three weeks. I was in Arizona for some training. Oh, yeah, what kind of training? Uh, it's called DRE. It's like when people do heroin and drive or like cocaine and drive and stuff. You know how like you can tell when people drink and drive. Yeah, but why did you why did you have to go to Arizona? For so that? they go to the, we go to the Maricopa County Jail because oh. everyone there is on you know meth and heroin. Everyone there, <laughs> everyone that comes in the jail. So we do evals on them because it's a controlled environment and they they volunteer to do it and they get extra food and like that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, so, that's nice. So I was gone for a while doing that. But, yeah, probably met some pretty decent people down there. Uh, so I went with nine other guys from New Hampshire. Uh, Drug task force? No, all just patrolmen doing the oh, same. Oh, really? Some of the same training, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, the instructors from Cam Mass. Was Cameron Pryor with you? No, but he is one. Yeah, because I know he's trained with uh, recognition, too, because yeah. he was in the police report with Heather. Oh, yeah? Of uh, noticing the shit she yeah. went to. He went a couple years ago, but it was the same training. You must have heard about the mess I'm going through, huh? A little bit? Yeah. Um, I never, I was never part of it, but I heard it in roll call a couple different times. Yeah. Um, is that all settled? Um, there's a superior court hearing on the 21st, but I have a criminal DVP on her, and she's yeah, got a civil one that. on me. Oh, really? Yeah. So wait, so you had yours first, right? You got the criminal one first. Yep. And then she turned around and... Yeah. Which I don't understand, because if you already have one on her... She's she... out on bail for domestic assault, dude. Yeah. You get a, I mean, you don't even always get held. You get out on bail right away. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't understand. I don't understand how she was easily... She threw out a day. Oh, she, he threw me up against the wall on the 14th of August. Just picked a day? Just picked a day and he granted it to her. You know? In the hearing. <laughs> These things are bright, man. 
I, I only flash the lights if they flash them at me. I'm, I'm Kevin. I, I wasn't flashing it in your no, face. I, I, I was flashing it at the ground. No, I know. They're just, it's the LEDs. They're bright. Well, this this one shouldn't be that bright. Yeah. This so the bright so the I, I filed for divorce um, because you know the drinking and all that shit. So you know. Um, I have, uh, I got an emergency voucher for an apartment and all that shit, everything's been set up. I've yep. had the kids all week. I'm still letting Heather take them during the weekends. Um, well, the kids shouldn't have to suffer. Yeah, but hers is. You yeah. know, hers got to deal with it. Yeah. Um, but, you know, she's, she's got the, um, they issued the, uh, another no contact order through criminal court, which is weird. On her, like, yeah, I don't, for you? Yeah, I don't understand that. With me and Josiah, because we're both the victims. And right. Um, well, she had the bail conditions that probably said no contact. Well, she was right. able to, it was reamended for her to come back to the house. Oh, okay. Temporarily, gotcha. but for gotcha. some reason, after she got the, the civil one on me, mm -hmm. it was reissued to criminal court that she had no contact. Really? Me, which is really strange. I thought that was weird. So she got served again. Hmm. And plus, you I know, I remember this. that because I remember thinking we just did this. Why are we doing it again? Yeah, yeah, that's weird. Why did you guys? It must have been like last week sometime. Mm, I didn't. I don't know. I wasn't around when it was served. I just remember hearing that there was another one served. Like yeah. just as a heads up in case we have to deal with this again, it got served. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. She got served again for some reason. And uh, I guess Moran, Ellie Moran, ended up uh, motioning for me to get the SD card. And the audio from the assault, because it was uh, caught on audio. From your camera? Yeah. Um, so I can use it in the case on, on Tuesday. And I haven't received it yet, so I have to call it tomorrow. Yeah. Or, well, Monday. When, when, we, when did you find out you were getting it? Um, she filed the motion a week before last. She said it would only take like four or five days. It, it could have been delayed because of everything we had to deal with last week with the chief and stuff. Oh, so may, shit, maybe I didn't even think you know, of that. Yeah. property stuff wasn't really a priority for us at that time, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm really I, sorry to hear about yeah, Brian. Um, things are going to get back to normal, so. I really, I really like Brian. Who's, good who's guy. the acting? Right now it's Russo. Oh, it's Russo? Yeah, he's been, I mean, he was a captain for what, eight or nine years, so he moved up. I hope, I hope Stuart will. <laughs> I hope Stuart? Yeah. It doesn't sound like he wants it, so. Yeah, he turned know. it down before. Yeah. Uh, um, and Todd Lawrence is the acting captain now. Todd, I've always had good, he, good, good interaction guy. with uh, good Todd. I've known him since he was a detective. Yeah. Uh, and that's all they've done so far for promotion. They won't bump anybody else until everything's, everything's actually in place. No, I, I pray to God that, that uh, what's his name, don't go anywhere, Jason Short. He needs Lieutenant to retire. Short. He needs to retire like five minutes ago. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what he does. I read. I read his divorce, man. Did you? Oh yeah. It, it, it's messy. I mean, but you know they usually are. Everyone's got everyone's got their own skeletons, right? Well, when when you have that much uh, conflict of interest between someone that works for the state attorney and who's the prosecutor and they work together and they're married, I don't know. There's, there's a little shady shit there. I, I have a lot of questions as a yeah. media person. You know, it definitely sparked my interest on <laughs> sure. him being married to a, a state attorney advocate for the attorney's office and then yeah. just like going back and forth. I don't know, it was a little weird. Yeah. 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 I took yeah. your buddy there, I lost interest. I think his battery died. Oh. Alright, man, we back to work. Alright, man, nice talking to Hey, who was. I couldn't. The flash of the lights. Who, who was the cop that was just here? Oh, okay. What? What? <laughs> not a not a fan of uh, of uh, Thompson. It's Thompson in there. Kevin's a good guy though.